How, how do you both feel this week? It's, it's, it's you know, so desperately sad. Mm. The, the Queen was iconic and she was like a constant in all of our lives. Like we've never not known having the Queen. Yeah. And it, it's going to take a lot of adjusting to kind of get used to her, her not being there. You know, it's like she was the one person you knew you'd see every Christmas day and not argue with. <laughs> <laughs> I think what kind of people often forget is she wasn't born to be queen. Yeah. She, she, when she was a kid, she didn't know she was going to be queen and then Edward abdicated and her dad became king and then she was kind of thrust into it at the age of 25. And I think that kind of stroke of luck, the country was incredibly lucky that they ended up with her as their queen because there's been points in my life where the monarchy's not been as strong as it is maybe now or as it was when she became queen. And I think the thing that's carried it through is she's just her class and dignity as a figurehead has carried the monarchy through for the country, I think. Uh, I'd say that clap would be worth more if the last thing they hadn't clapped was you not singing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of people this week say that it felt like they lost their granny again, and I think that's a valid emotion. I've been really moved by watching other people's reactions to the Queen's passing. OK, so there are some guys in my rugby league team who served in the military, and they were really emotional, and I asked them why, and they said because when they signed up, signed up to, to serve in the military, they signed up to serve for Queen and Country. So they kind of felt like they had put their lives on the line for the Queen. And also, being an Australian, we, we also have a strong connection to the Queen. She was the first monarch to ever visit Australia. In fact, when I was a kid, when I was at school, I sang God Save the Queen because it was still the Australian national anthem when I was a kid. We, we only voted for a new anthem in 1984. You, you voted? voted. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did we say jinx? <laughs> did yeah, yeah, we had a, like a national vote. And no. it was a choice between Advance Australia Fair, which became the national anthem, Waltzing Matilda, God Save the Queen, and something called Song for Australia. Uh, it was basic... It I, was... Thought it, oh, I thought it was going to be like Land Down Under. And stuff. <laughs> Song for Australia goes, you know we belong together. <laughs> it was so basically... if you just do that in Australia, you just vote on all your kind of national characteristics, like you vote on whether every animal should be poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> there was a big vote on whether you should go up or down at the end of a sentence, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> I think you got that wrong. I think you yeah. got it wrong. Do you know what? We thought about that for ages. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the other thing, the, the other reason Australians love the Queen is because she was so far away. You Ooh. know, when, when, you've, when you're so close to someone, you see all their foibles and you see the rest of the family and all that kind of stuff, but when they're so far away, you kind of love them a little bit more. We love the Queen the way you guys love neighbours. Yeah. <laughs>